Y tener otros productos que podéis comprar si queréis, obviamente, eso es, es opcional. Tiene una pequeña, una pequeña tienda para poder comprar. Uh, as I was saying, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this little visit on this uh, pure, beautiful village called Grasale, uh, Sahara de la Sierra. Uh, since you've been a group, well, you are sympathetic. Most most of you are sympathetic. No, I'm joking. All of you, you've been you've been so so kind that uh, I'm gonna do a little stop, a surprise. They've been talking about the olives and uh, and the olive oil here in South of Spain and how important it is. So we're gonna stop in a, in a mill of olives, so in a, fa a factory of olive olive oil. You've been on the same family since since 1755. After generation after generation being on the same family and uh, they don't produce many liters per year but they are proud on their quality. They are one of the best uh, quality of extra virgin olive oil in South of Spain. And we're gonna stop, I'm gonna explain more or less how they produce this extra virgin olive oil and uh, after there is a, a little a little uh, uh, shop obviously it's, you are not forced to if you don't want to but there's a little shop where you, we're gonna taste this uh, this extra version olive oil and if you want to buy something you can so we're going to now visit a little olive oil factory one of the best in southern Spain let's see it's the best of our group This is a different one, but I think I saw that brand. Separates the leaf from the sediments. They go inside all the old olives. So la cintura entera con hueso, con hueso y todo, va aquí dentro. So it goes with the feet. The olive goes in. It goes inside the olives. Goes inside of the green inside of this blender with the feet and everything. And uh, they blend it, they, and they do like a paste. Lo hacen como una pasta, ¿vale? Después tiene estos filtros que antes estaban hechos de vino y ahora son más de plástico, pero son más económicos. Y lo que hacen es ponerlo en ese tubo, ¿vale? Lo ponen en ese tubo y una camada de 10 kilos de, de esta pasta. O clean and been blended on this on this blender. What they do, they use these filters that on nowadays they are made of plastic because they are more hygienical to clean. 
uh, but on, on, on all times they remain offline. So what they do is they put it inside of this pipe, or of this pipe, this filter, and the machine starts to make it at 10 kilos, it puts 10 kilos of this pipe, of this olive blended, another filter, another, another, uh, another 10 kilos, until one ton. So the whole pipe will be one ton of this pipe. After, there is a man, we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet him inside of the shop, this big one, he, he rusted this car, so I will um, say, Senor, que no vamos a conocer, que está dentro de la tienda. Él es un hombre grande, no lo vaya a conocer. Y arrasta. Este, es un, after this little place of Hong Kong has been done, what he did, they grabbed this car, and put it inside on, on this, on this uh, press. This press normally is done, it's on the bottom, and what they do it slowly, it takes it four hours, it takes it four hours at least to press this, uh, this place. Uh, yeah, but what the process of the quadro? Someone asked me uh, how and why they call them extra virgin olive oil. An extra virgin olive oil, it means you need to have three things for it. First, one press. It means it means this spice is pressed once, and that's it. They don't reuse it. This spice. Second, this press is made on a cold temperature between zero and twenty degrees. Over that temperature. Uh, the olive oil starts to lose the, the, the quality, it starts to lose the, the characteristics of a uh, nice and good uh, olive oil. And by last but not the least, it's only mixed with water. And mixing with water, obviously water and olive oil they don't mix. But what they do is the filter. They use the water to filter this olive oil. So basically all the sediments, all the, all the dirt that you can find on this, on this uh, pressing, on this liquid after being pressed, they put it water, and this water, because it's heavier, it goes down and filters the olive oil. So on the water we got the water after 24 hours. On the water we got the water with the sediments. And on the top you got pure extra virgin oil. So then they drain it, the water, and they step with the filter of the oil. Here on this company, they will use, uh, in this company, se usa, se reutiliza, in this company they will use everything. So they, they, they try to be the most ecological as possible. So with the paste that we remains on the filters, what they do, they drop it here on this second blender, they wash it, the, the, the filters, and all this remains it goes to a second blender to do para hacer esto. Esto, esto que tenéis aquí, es la pasta de la, de la aceituna ya seca. Muchas compañías lo que hacen es mojar esto. So we've got here is this uh, the paste of olive oil dry, it's dry. Most, there's a few companies, they use it this to do a second uh, type of olive oil, not extra virgin, with lower quality. This company, no, this company, they use it easy for a couple of things. They use it to, as a fertilizer, they use it to mix with the food of the animals, and as well to do a few products, like, uh, like um, soap, like other things. So they, everything is use it, so they, they don't waste the olive oil. The, the olives. So now we're gonna we're gonna taste we're gonna taste a bit of this. Vamos a probar un poquito de este aceite bueno bueno que hacen aquí. So we're gonna try a little bit of this olive oil. Very welcome. Okay, Simon, how is it? Gotta try this. Huh? You got the, the methods, they use it, like I was explaining how they use it, the, this, um, this olive oil. It's mm -hmm. a blender, okay. la reguladora. Yeah. Oh, Alright. I drained the pasta, the part pasta, the aceituna. The paste of uh, olive that I was saying about, they will say it's completed. Just some more, I think. We're trying the other way to Los filtros, oh, really? los filtros que van poco a poco mm. poniendo... So, cerca de 10 de, de kilos de kilo entre cada filtro, ¿o cuánto? Sí, más o menos, ¿no? 10 kilos. Entre cada filtro lleva 10 kilos de esa pasta. So